Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be taking you through how to export objects from 3ds Max into Rhino. Uh, so what we have here is a 3D mapping of Swinburne University. Um, you can use any kind of object or um, kind of context and it's great if you wanted to kind of move this from 3ds Max into Rhino and later you want to design in there. So what we're going to do is begin by selecting the objects. In this sense it's the context and you want to go File you want to export and we're just going to call this context and you want to make sure that the file type is an OBJ and we'll hit save and this options will pop up you can change this to your recommendation although these settings are generally uh, what's kind of recommended and are the standard options so we'll hit export and I'm going to hit skip for these and what this does is essentially it's going to um, export the files and depending how big the file is it might take a while so I'll be back when this is done. So the exporting is now completed and you want to hit done and from here we're going to open up Rhino 7 or whatever version of Rhino that you have. And once Rhino is opened, you want to go type in import, and we're going to import the context, and these set of options will come up, and you can either group the objects and make it a whole group, or you can have the same uh, layers in the 3ds Max and go object names, or go layers here, we're going to import the objects and go OK. Don't click. Uh, my file was pretty big, so my Rhino is crashing. So maybe we'll just wait for this to respond. There we go. So if we go into perspective, it's going to come up and we can actually rotate this. And it's going to be in wireframe, so we might change it to shaded. get rendered actually and there we have it there's the context and obviously from here if we wanted to scale it up we'd select it all type in scale and you can scale it up to however big you want it thank you